Peggy 16. Skateboarding is an inherently creative activity, and all we want to do is we really want to empower people. We want to like give them what they need to go nuts and have have a great time creating. Skate Create really is the extension of that, and Skate Three around uh, players being able to create their own videos, photos, and graphics. And now with a big new feature, Skate Park, so players can can create and share their own their own user created parks. Essentially, you get component pieces and chunks for types of parks you want to build, like a basic street park or a revert park or a plaza park, or at the very end, the mega park. You can mix and match any of the sets as they sort of get unlocked through your progression and actually change it up between three styles. So there's also uh, 40 plus color tints you can apply. Uh, you can take any custom graphic you can make on the website and actually bring it into your park and share it out and everybody will see that logo. Then there's props, which can be used uh, for both aesthetic purposes and gameplay purposes. And really, they sort of put the final touch on the park. They sort of make it feel complete. At any point, I can choose to upload that park to the community. So, you know, if you create that uh, nice, big, epic mega park that you want to session that night with your friends, uh, it's as simple as sending in an invite to a free skate session in that park. Uh, that park is then available to be seen in-game through the browser. You can go to the website. If you're killing time at work, you can actually browse uh, skate parks. Flag it for download. The next time you come back to your console, it'll be there waiting for you. The single most revolutionary feature, at least for the, how I play the game, is going to be the object drop -in. So now in the open world, you can pull up your object catalog and spawn from literally 100 different movable objects. You know, low rails, high rails, there's kink rails, dragon rails, there's things like bike racks and, and benches. Really anything that's in the world uh, as, a, as a movable object is available in the object drop. Graphics creators uh, coming back from Skate 2, lots of little improvements. We're adding some nice usability things and revamping all the shapes. One of my favorites, which is just the ability to preview what the graphics going to look like on the skater. And once the graphics in game, the player can scale it and rotate it. Your teammates can also take any graphic that you've shared and send it to their game. Yeah, yeah. To create skate real content. This year is that we've opened up the advanced camera functionality for all players and use all those settings to, to make it just perfect. Instant Replay Mode will be available in Online Free Skate too, and help them to make even better team videos. If your team has put together like a YouTube montage of, of all your best clips, you can, you can embed those in your team profile. In fact, take the best of the videos and photos that your team has made and, and surface those as your featured team video. Skatefeed ties it all together and makes sure that you know the community is always aware of what's going on. We're just proud that, that we can put some tools in people's hands and then watch what they create. What they, we figured you'd do something, but not what we're seeing.